the team that I actually have winning the AAC this year. I'll go on and spoil that for everybody. That would be the Houston Cougars. And, of course, Dana Holgerson. Uh, Big-time stuff for Dana, of course. Uh, 12-2 and last year. Their postgame win expectancy said they should have been in the regular season closer to uh, 10 and 3, somewhere in there. It was 10.08 and 2.92. Their conference record last year was 8 0. Uh, their projected SP plus record this year is 9 and 3. They, uh, they did go 8 and 6 against the spread last year. Cincinnati did the exact same thing. Uh, offense was not great last year. Like number 61 in offensive PPA per drive, their rushing success rate was awful. Uh, we'll start off with the offense here. Uh, the loss of the running back, Alton McCaskill, to an ACL injury in spring. That hurts, right? That really hurts. Uh, but there is still talent, even if it's inexperienced at the position. Uh, the offensive line should be pretty good this year. The other part of this, I don't know if you've uh, seen this stuff going around on, on Twitter and whatnot. You go back and look at every Dana Holgerson quarterback, every one of them. His final season has always been their best season. So this looks like it could be a big year for Clayton Toon you know, coming up. They've got a lot of wide receiver talent. Uh, they've got two wide receivers and one tight end with a ton of snaps returning. I I fully expect Clayton Toon to be awesome. He had over 3,500 yards, 30 touchdowns, 10 interceptions last year. Um, obviously, you want some help from the running back position, but Holgo has shown like he will fling that ball around. How, how do you feel about this offense? Love them. Think, think the offense is going to be good. Think the defense is going to be just fine. I think Dana Hogerson is one of the best coaches in college football and uh, love him. And uh, I think he's going to take Houston to uh, high places. I have them 10 and 2. I have them 10 and 2 as well. Um, I, my So, my thoughts about the defense here they returned 10 seniors that played 200 plus snaps each. Pass rushers, uh, Paris and Jones, uh, the linebacker, Mutant. Uh, the cornerback, Hogan, et cetera, along with, of course, defensive coordinator Doug Belk, who they gave a million-dollar contract to so that he wouldn't leave for some of these uh, greener pastures. Doug Belk, young guy, really, really uh, made that defense click last year. He has built that thing up over a couple of years now. Uh, they need to limit explosive plays. They were number 102 in defensive explosive play rate, uh, number 60 in 20-plus yard plays allowed. Uh, other than that, the defense was awesome. I mean, as far as... Uh, PPA per drive, they were number six in the country. Rushing success rate, number 14. Passing success rate, they were, they were number three. This defense was elite uh, at, at basically every level. Uh, they're going to lean on their seniors on the defense. They, you know, you slow down the opponent big plays, you're going to win more times than you're not. Uh, you know, it, just don't beat yourself this year. They were number 22 in turnover margin. Try and maintain that. Number 80 in penalties per game. Uh, maybe clean that up just a touch. I've got them ten and two. Like I, I could see them going undefeated. I could see them, you know, eleven and one somewhere around there. Um, it does scare me. Like it, there could be a team that pops up that I don't expect them to lose to, um, because we have seen Holgerson do this kind of stuff in the past, right? We we've had really high hopes for some of his West Virginia teams, and it didn't exactly turn out that way. Uh, but you've you've got them ten and two as well, right? Yes, sir. That's it. We both love our boy Holgo. Faux show on that. Uh, so, yeah, I've got them 10-2 as well. 10-2 as well, and I could, I can certainly see it. I, I think they win the AAC this year. I feel pretty strong about that. I think this is a loaded roster, a really good team. Uh, really wish McCaskill was still with them. Um, and we'll, we'll see. I mean, he, he tore his ACL, I think, uh, at the end of March or early April. And, you know, after that, uh, I mean, ACL is what – they, they take six months now, eight months now. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be eight months, probably nine, something like that. I mean, we did, we did see George Pickens just do the exact same thing and then came back and played in, uh, uh, towards the end of Georgia's season. Now he, he wasn't a hundred percent, but I mean, he's good. Like it. So uh, we'll see what McCaskill does. Um, but either way, they do have talent at the position. It's not like they're going in with nobody. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.